All right, everyone, we are here at the finals of the Des Plaines, <laughs> Illinois City Championship. Kyle Sukovich here with Michael Pramlott. Yep. And uh, we have a great matchup here. We have Matt Moss, the STS champion, back in 2001, coming back 11 years later in the Ooh. finals of a city championship against Adam Bigot, kind of a newer player from Arkansas all the way here in Chicago. Uh, so what do you think is going to happen here as we head into the finals? Well, if we just go by high-level tournament finals percentages. <laughs> this is Matt's second. <laughs> <laughs> hey, he won a gym challenge. Third. <laughs> so, whoa, he's a 100%. <laughs> Uh-oh. <laughs> he's never lost the finals, folks. Oh, yeah. streaked on the line. So, um, in all seriousness, though, but, um, you know, this is going to be an interesting matchup. Uh, Matt had already played this matchup in the top eight. So this is going to be like, kind of like, hey, I don't have to spend two games learning what to do now. I already know. So <laughs> At the same time, he, uh, let's be honest, he should have lost his top eight match. Uh, those were extremely close games where he had no business winning the second one, but he did. He survived, yeah. and he ended up winning. So uh, he's got to be feeling a little nervous, but at the same time, confident that he knows what he's getting into now. Yeah, I mean, like, it only takes one mistake to kind of lose it. So, like, even though he had no business being in game two, maybe he had no business being in game two because he was still learning the matchup. True. I mean, there was like a lot of, well, there's a couple turns, you know, where he sent up an energy with, he just left a dark ride with energy yeah. on the active spot and then just got knocked out. He won't do that again. <laughs> These things will stop. Yeah. Hopefully. Right? <laughs> right? Uh, so, um, I think it's going to be a fun match. I think so too. Uh, dark ride always provides fun games, so I guess. They're just about ready to go. All right. That was a very loud bang. I don't know what that was. I'm going to blame Ben. It's... He looks like he's uh, trying to put the blame on someone else. And, uh, All right. We see the handshake for the good luck, have fun. <laughs> right? Bumps into Matt's deck. <laughs> uh, looks like Adam will be going first. With? Uh, right. It's two Rayquaz EXs. Two different arts, I think. Mm -hmm. uh, and Moss has a dark ride. All right, is he going to go for Celestial Roar? I'm going to go out on a limb and say uh, no. Yeah, I don't think so either. <laughs> well, maybe if he like somehow changed his deck list into the quad Rayquaza deck. <laughs> but I think the chances of that is kind of unlikely. Yeah, hey, uh, I played against one of those yesterday. Did you really? Quad Rayquaza, yep. I, uh, Did you I lose? I sent up a Sigilyph. Okay. And uh, he said, okay, I scoop. But... He did it literally by playing a super scoop of many flipped heads and took out his only Pokemon in play. Well, at least he didn't give you the pleasure of just sitting there for I 20 know. minutes just going, psychic, psychic. <laughs> <laughs> well, he would have been knocked out in two turns, but instead he just decided to scoop up his only Pokemon. All right, so. <laughs> <laughs> so no Celestial Roar. And no Tynamos. Yeah. That kind of negates the advantage of going first. It does, really. You know, um, there's a lot of like weird situations where if it's like big basics versus big basics if you go first but you don't get that energy attachment it's like all you did was just like really just draw a mulligan card yeah. I so, got to attach I guess but if you miss that attachment mm -hmm. then it's like it switches back over to who because the big thing about going first is who can get the first attachment that's the biggest thing next is for setup decks is can I get my basics down for my evolutions right. and that's important but Moss doesn't have to worry about that well, no Tynamos, uh, gotta be feeling good. He did start with Darkrai though, so usually you would prefer to start with Sableye, just so you could junk hunt on the first turn. Uh, he still could, you know, if he gets a uh, Dark Patch, or even an Energy and an Energy Switch. Mm -hmm. Energy Switch is pretty good. Yeah. Yeah, there's a lot of combinations for turn two Night Spear with Energy Switch. Yeah, uh, it's surprising to me how how long it actually took people to realize uh, how good Energy Switch was in the Darkrai decks. Because uh, originally we had, you know, if you wanted to attack quickly with Darkrai, people just played you know, Sky Arrow Bridge with Smeargle in the past format. Uh, if they didn't do that, uh, it would be uh, Shaman, Celebration Wind moving energy, but in this format, uh, energy, energy switch, switch. Is yeah, pretty good. <laughs> there it is. Yep. And there's that. And if he has a supporter to go with us... Looks like he has an Ultra Ball, he might. Gets rid of the Mewtwo. He kind of, like... He's kind of figured out, hey, I don't need this card in this matchup, no problem. <laughs> you might wish you had the Keldeo. 
Oh. <laughs> uh, he actually took out his Caldeo EX to get around the status effects of, uh, like, Tynamo. Just to put in that Mewtwo. You know, it really... I don't think... It, I think that's a fair call. Yeah, um, I do too. I think that's perfectly fine. And he gets the Juniper too. Ooh, big turn for Moss. Um, I like this. I think um, I think most people would have junipered away in the dark and gone for a dark patch. Mm -hmm. But I like having the guaranteed junk hunt a lot better. Yeah, I, I like that too. You know, the dark energies will come eventually. You don't need to rush it too too much. Like you could if if you draw more dark energies in your hand, well, and you have a dark patch, well, there's Ultra Ball in the discard. Yeah. So it's very nice. Plus, with the energy search, it's gonna be great. He's this turn one is like. Couldn't be better, unless it was a turn one night spear, which actually doesn't exist. <laughs> well, could have been better with like a dark patch, but yeah, I'll be okay. All right, so we got an ultra ball and an energy search. I think that's what he took yep. back. Yes. Okay, so he's getting ready. He wants to night spear as soon as possible. And we see a Skyla from Adam. Um, that's probably not the supporter he wanted to use this turn, considering he doesn't have any Tynamos. He's gonna have to just settle for level balling for one Tynamo. Uh, very shaky, especially considering, you know, Moss has an energy surge in his hand. Um, an ultra ball, ultra so you gotta ball. assume he has dark patch. Yeah, and then, like, maybe he has another energy in his hand, mm -hmm. so he just has, like, a night spear next turn. No yep. problem. And if he has catcher to go with this, that Tynamo is going down <laughs> so fast. Yeah. Uh, so, uh, I guess just one, one Tynamo in play. He already attached gonna catch her on a dark right I do like that mm -hmm. and uh, I guess he can hit for 60 that's kind of a strong play so now that forces uh, like another energy switch um, yeah I don't think Moss will Knights right now no uh, you might he might just have to settle for another junk hunt which isn't bad yeah. like especially if like he can maybe get crushing hammers and start using those mm -hmm. uh, and then in that case like no problem yeah. uh, perfectly happy to just junk hunt again I agree. Uh, I, uh, the problem is the, just the 60 damage on the Dark Rite. Now it's just a 2 energy Dragon Burst knockout. That's annoying. He already committed a Dark Claw to that Dark Rite too, so he can't put an Evil Light on it to make it back up to 3. So it's, uh, that's rough. Do you know if uh, Matt plays any Tool Scrappers? He does. He could always Tool Scrap his own, his own you know, tools his own and then put an Evil Light on it. Yeah, he could. I doubt that'll happen, but uh, it's well, an option. I mean, like, if you look at it rationally, like, Adam doesn't play any tools. No. Yeah, I mean, like, he just doesn't. That's true. So, like... Oh, double dark match. So, it's, you know, you're not going to get your use out of the tool scrappers that way, so... Ooh, if, uh, if Matt has another energy switch here, you can Night Spear this turn. Oh, boy. Sure uh, does he get it? <laughs> uh, I think Perfect World is... Uh... Juniper catcher, uh, but I think or energy switch catcher, but I think he'll be just happy with an energy switch. I mean, let's not get too greedy. <laughs> this hitting, is still hitting a, the Rayquaza for ninety. This is a for thirty. Yeah, this okay. is still a like a turn two night spear with <laughs> your like a random dark ride getting catchered. Yeah, I don't think he got it though. I think he would have done it by now. Hmm. Yeah. Raining on his parade a little bit. <laughs> Kind of annoying that you get excited when you get two dark patches out, but well, he can he can still um, use Sableye here. Yeah, and I mean, yeah, he can just jump on. This yeah, turn. just jump on, no problem. It would have been nice to just get a Night Spear this turn, get like the first real big attack off, mm -hmm. uh, put thirty on the Tynamo, put a lot of pressure on Adam, but he won't have that option apparently. He's just gonna have to sit back, get back some items. Uh, I don't even know why they call it junk hunt. That's not junk. Those are cards you want. <laughs> Well, uh, you know, you go through the discard pile. A lot of the, a lot of stuff in there is junk. <laughs> oh, computer search. Never mind. Ooh, here we go. Discards two more darks. So that's, uh, normally you like, you like getting dark energy in the discard pile, but there is a point where you can actually discard too many. You still need some to attach. I don't think he's hit that point yet, but. Uh, uh just yeah, to keep in but it, it's oof. triple dark patch. <laughs> and that's why. Now we know. Ooh, catcher as well. He just had everything. He's just, you know, 
calculating what are the best like options for me. Like with the energy su switch, he didn't because he didn't grab energy switch. Now he has a bunch of energies on the field. Like he can get the energy off the save line, mm -hmm. and he won't be forced to be like only the bench. Yeah. So it was a very nice, nice little option he had there. Okay, so we have a juniper from Adam discarding a Skyla, a Rayquaza X, and N. And what does he get? He gets one Tynamo and a handful of energy. And a catcher. And a juniper. <laughs> yeah, like, this is, uh, this is not looking good for Adam. Mm -hmm. Like, he's basically just been reset a turn with that catcher and Night Spear combo. Oh, and just does another 60 again. So, like, if Matt, if Matt can, like, pull off another catcher. Yeah. Oh. It's another Juniper. Yeah. So it He's on happen. fire. Boss is just blazing through his deck. Uh, I mean, it's nice when you don't have to discard more than one Juniper at a time, and you can just mill through your deck. It's like the old days when you just mm -hmm. oak, 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 bill, 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 bill. <laughs> uh, play everything down. Item finder, oak. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> Oh, there's a hammer. That's going to be a big part of this matchup as well. That's a hit. Down goes the fire. And all of a sudden, Matt Moss is in a tremendous position. There's no danger of even being knocked out if the Tynamo survives the turn. And i got to think, there's a fourth Dark Patch. <laughs> uh, yeah, now he can just go to the, the Dark Claw. Yes. Dark Right. Set this thing up for a big old Night Spear. Uh, you know, it'll be up to 140 damage. Mm -hmm. The 30 from Night Spear will then be able to finish it off. Oh my god. Oh, There's so much energy on the field. <laughs> How does he do it, guys? This is turn three. <laughs> He's got seven, eight energy in play. Turn three. It's like he, he like built up all this rage from the top eight, and then he just like unleashed it all. An energy switch, too. I guess he's just preparing for an end or something. I don't know. Uh, he's he's prepping for oh, saving it. He, he's prepping. He's getting the dam energies off the damage the, uh, one. the damage one and putting it onto the eviolated one. That way, you know, say something do bad does happen, right? Well, at least then he'll have his. He's only losing two energies instead of three, and his other dark rise fully po is about almost fully powered. Mm -hmm. I got gotcha. you. Would you rather move the energy off Sableye or off Darkrai? Um, I, I would move it off the Darkrai. It's the biggest target. Uh, you know, the Sableye is kind of just, I think he's going to be there to chill all game long. Probably. You know, like, maybe if an N happens and then he just sends it up and goes, yeah, junk hunt. <laughs> but uh, until that situation, like, Ooh, Adam, Adam has to deal with the Darkrai. Adam doesn't have any electric this turn. I think he's just going to get blown out this game. That's a very big possibility. Like, we're going to see at least a two-price turn, maybe even a three-price turn next turn. Could um, possibly be. Oh, it's definitely a three-price turn. <laughs> yeah. Um, yeah, I, I got to say this game's over. There's no way to come back from this. Yeah. It's just not, not, you can, I will buy you dinner if he comes back from this. I will take that bet risk-free, and I will not bet anything. <laughs> Good. That's how confident I am. Good. Come on, Adam. <laughs> you can do it, buddy. Right, so Moss just takes the three prizes. He only has to take two more, uh, which just means that Rayquaza X. Eh, Total scrapper. Uh, that's a start for a free dinner. <laughs> Maybe he plays a Turrican I don't know about. Uh, <laughs> like a uh oh you don't know about. <laughs> <laughs> Alright, so he's catching up that dark eye. And, and, ooh. And well, he's going for Raikou. Is mm -hmm. he going to go for the uh, Million Thunderfang strategy? It's a pretty good strategy. <laughs> like, for all I know, he's been hiding that Victini just for this. Oh, no. I'm going to have to buy your dinner, aren't I? Yes. <laughs> <laughs> all right, so uh, Adam will get six. Moss gets two. Moss did play a bunch of Junipers already. He just played a Bianca, too. He's going to be running low on supporters. I think the strategy for Adam might be the deck Moss. I don't know. It could be something. Uh, Moss is also like, he's got a bunch of energy out there. There's a chance he could just not have an energy to retreat here. Mm -hmm. uh, and then, I mean, we do see one, two, three, four, five, like eight, eight, nine. Nine, yeah. How many energies does he even play? Like uh, 10, 11? Uh, I think it's tw 11 or 12. But he plays so many energy searches. Okay, he's got an energy. <laughs> All right. Well, that plan was pretty cool while it lasted. <laughs> Uh, so I guess you just retreat in Night Spear. 32, what? Well. 
let's, <laughs> let's read Raikou EX first. Yeah, Moss just taking a look. He's like, <laughs> what was this? <laughs> this card didn't come up in my top eight match. <laughs> yeah. This is one of those. This could be one of those uh, those learning experiences for Moss where he's just like, sometimes you can kind of freak out when you see a card you don't know what it does. I like the reaction time for, uh, for him to realize that Raikou was like, on right, the bench. It's got an energy. Might as well look at it. <laughs> <laughs> Hits the field, confidently just lets it, doesn't read it, and goes, <laughs> put my energy down, bro. Let me read that. <laughs> <laughs> okay, so, uh, I mean, if Adam's going to come back, it's going to take, jeez, <laughs> uh, a lot of Thunder Fang heads. He would also need like max potions. And he need uh, he need Matt to avoid a catcher. Yeah, pretty much. And Sableye can just junk hunt at some point. Mm -hmm. So yeah, not looking good. Um, looks like that free dinner is slowly slipping away. <laughs> I think so. All right, so here we go, Thunderfang. Oh, heads. Heads. Thirty and paralysis. And that's one small step. <laughs> to a, <laughs> a free meal. <laughs> uh, I can't see. It. Okay, Adam's hand is a switch and a Keldeo, Um so he's not going anywhere anytime soon. Yeah, you know, it's so hard to tell what he can possibly do. Like, even if he attacks with the Rayquaza, it just dies. Immediately. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> so he is, his uh, only option is to like attack with Rek. It's for like a while. <laughs> this is like literally um, knock Here's out with tails. Yeah. No heads. Yeah. It's oh. like I think this is like literally his game plan is knock out the active dark eye with the uh, thunder fang or volt bolt or whatever. Not hope Matt doesn't have another energy card. Knock out the fully powered dark eye on the bench. Still hope he doesn't have an energy card. Well, I think Matt would just junk hunt at one point. <laughs> And again, granted, this is a very long sequence. I mean, if we're, if we're looking about the overall health of the match, uh, Adam probably should not be in this game anymore. I mean, there is a time limit per, uh, even in the finals, there's a time limit that you have to, like, finish three games by the time time's called or else it goes to sudden death. Mm, another heads. <laughs> and that's just, you know... Um, I think he really is just delaying the inevitable, if you're going to be honest. Yeah, I mean, some people um, don't like to leave games yeah. until the very last prize has been taken. Yeah, I agree. And, you know, Moss is like, well, I'm perfectly okay with this. <laughs> you know, I'm the faster deck, so even if it goes to sudden death, I should be ahead. Yeah. So I, I guess he can Volt Bolt and then, yeah, uh, you just need Moss to miss an energy at some point, I guess. He's, okay, switching, he's going to Dynamo her. Mm -hmm. He has an N. Uh, I don't know if he wants to play that. I guess he will. I think he has to, yeah. Yeah, Moss could have a catcher in there. Mm -hmm. So he's going to Volt Bolt. And just if Moss has a catcher, he wins. If he has an energy for the Dark Cry, I think he also wins. Um, yeah. Because he's going to two hit a Raikou, I guess. Those are all possibilities that must not happen for Adam. So if, uh, if Moss gets a catcher, or if Moss doesn't get a catcher, should he Junk Hunt or. Um, Night Spear. Um, I would just junk hunt. I would too. Yeah. Just grab two catchers. Yeah. <laughs> or like a catcher and an energy switch. To I, make sure you can Night Spear if your other Dark Knight Maybe stuck. a Dark Patch or something. Yeah, maybe. Yeah. Yeah. But, uh, I guess it'll just come down to what he draws. There is an outside, outside chance that Adam could win this game. And let's see. Here he comes, Volt Bolt. You gotta at least come at him for finding some way out in this abysmal situation. Well, like, okay, a you bolt. can't really like blame him for really going all the way like this, but like, ah. Right. Uh. Does he have a catcher? Counting his deck. Oh, it's another Juniper. <laughs> <laughs> that was his game plan all along. Just make him whiff long enough to paralysis him out of the game. Uh, we got a random receiver. Could turn up an end. Must, oh, oh, it's a, it's a Juniper. <laughs> Must be nice, man. 
<laughs> uh, there's a lot of ends he hasn't played yet. Yeah, yeah, I'm sure those ends will not be used ever. <laughs> so uh, if you're at him, you see that, and your stomach turns a little bit like, uh, it can't just be an end. But uh, it's just the way it is. And we're going to have a Juniper. We're probably going to see a catcher, I would think. Moss has to have at least one left. Yeah, probably. Discards two ends, I think. And here we go. And let's see the oh, he's not playing it. Maybe he, I don't know. Let's see. He could also have energy. That also is an appropriate like <laughs> response. The judge looks at his deck to see if there's a catcher in there. <laughs> uh, okay, so now this gets weird. Well, you know, we we ran into a situation like I described like maybe five minutes ago. Where Moss just yeah. decks. I mean, I know this is like far, far outlier. He's gonna need a couple more Thunderfang heads for this to happen. Hey, hey, hey. He has to even be able to use Thunderfang first of all. Well, let's see what he needs for that. A Dynamotor? A, no, he needs one Dynamotor on the uh, Keldeo. Or a second. Rush in. He needs an energy and a second electric. He's, he has it. I think he, he can do it. He at least has the option to do it. This would be the most frustrating way to lose ever. This will be the most glorious meal I've e ever eaten. <laughs> Moss is going to look. Yeah, I have a catcher in there I guess he's going to look for. I don't even think he can deck him out. How many cards he has left? Moss is benching another save line. Well, no, he just searched it. He, he hasn't put it on the bench like officially yet. You know, it depends on how many um, how many cards man has left, I guess. Yeah, I mean that looks like maybe ten. It's probably less than that. Probably like five or six. Well, that's perfectly within reason. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, we have an energy switch. Ooh, I don't like that play. Oh, unless he's got another energy. Okay, another energy switch works too. Well, ooh, this one was a little overzealous. So uh, you can move it off. Uh, Depends if you have any energy left. Yeah, but now, like, that can get catchered and then, like, Thunderfangs. Or Volpul. Yeah. Uh, I would move it off the stable at this point. You, you put it down, you deal with it. Um, and now. Ooh, it's kind of opening himself up to actually lose. He's going to put down Sableye, too. Retreat. Yep. And. Uh, what do you get for 30 here? It honestly doesn't matter. It, it really comes down to Thunderfang. And if Thunderfang misses once here, because that's the game plan. It's like, yeah. deck. Deck him. Well, I mean, what if... Uh, I guess he doesn't have enough electrics in play. I was going to see what if he dropped a fresh Rayquaza. <clears throat> um, I, I guess technically he could. He could drop a fresh Rayquaza and catch her one of those damage dark cries. Yeah. And then he can follow maybe. up with... Uh, Cause that already has two on it. However, like at that point, that opens Moss to have a catcher at any point. Well, yeah, he, he would have won anyway with a catcher. Yeah, yeah, but I think the only way, and the way Moss has been playing, like he didn't junk hunt, so there's clearly a catcher left. Oh, he's going for shred. And okay, so that makes that thirty actually relevant. Okay. <laughs> huh. Way to go, Moss. <laughs> I would have, I, 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 I would, I know this is like gimmicky, but I still would have liked to see the <laughs> Thunder Fangs. You just want to see him flip so many heads. He's already flipped three, man. Well, what else is he supposed to do? I don't know. Uh, I don't like this play at all from Adam. It just sets him up for a loss. Yeah, because now at this point it's just like, draw your deck. See, we got a random receiver. Dark, Ultra Ball, Tool Scrapper, Catcher. Four cards left. And there's probably like an end in his hand. Okay, we'll see. He's already played one Bianca. I don't think he plays more than one. Yeah, I think really he's played all four Junipers. Okay, he's gonna put down. Dark Claw? Yep. Yeah, that opens up that play too. Whatever. And, and okay, 50 50 shot. Yeah. Um. <laughs> However, this also plays into my plans of accelerating the deck out. It does? Yeah. So let's see, does Moss hit the Pokemon Catcher off these two cards? Oh no, 
we do. Misses. Oh, now we're down to a, a 25% chance of Matt just losing the game. How did um, the... Oh, why did he... Oh, what just happened? Uh, oh, Night Spear on the... Uh... What? Uh, there was 30 on the... There was 60 on the eels? Yeah, but uh, Night Spear doesn't knock out the Rayquaza. No, but it would... I don't know. I think Confused. Adams just gave up. I think so too. All right, I, I, I think I think Matt won. Yeah. <laughs> that, um, that awkward moment when you don't know who won the game. Tell you what, how about we just call that my win? Mm, no. Whoa, 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 maybe Adam goes first. Huh? Maybe if Adam goes. No wait. <laughs> if Adam goes second. Yeah. Then, yeah. Uh, I'm pretty sure he's gonna go first. Uh, yeah, probably. <laughs> um, I'm guessing he scooped. I don't know. He didn't see the paralysis strategy. Sorry, Bram. I don't know why. I think I'm, like, the only one who goes for that. <laughs> I just go. I mean, like, I'll, I'll try any, any one percenter out. I mean, he had, he had two cards left. Just two Thunder Fangs. Uh, it won't actually knock out. Anything, Darker. yeah. So, yeah. Um, beats me. Mm -hmm. He must not have seen it. And even then, it oh, is. Oh, maybe he didn't have energy in his hand. He had two electrics. He had one, He would have went down the one. I don't know. Mm. Yeah, it's maybe. Real head right. scratcher. Yeah. Uh, I think you're right. He must not have had energy. But okay. he still would have gotten to draw a card. Or maybe he drew a card and didn't get it. Yeah, I think so. Yeah. Alright. Because the th he, uh, he clearly like saw the Thunderfang strategy when he was Thunderfanging. Yeah, I know. <laughs> <laughs> it's not like that possibility he just like left out of his head. Yeah, I know. So yeah, uh, I guess he just couldn't Thunderfang. That yeah. makes sense. I mean, he did get in, I guess. Mm -hmm. All right. I'm confident that Matt won, and I do not owe you dinner. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> that would have been the sweetest meal. <laughs> <laughs> Never let anyone tell you. Uh, Things that are free are bad. <laughs> things that are free are glorious. All right. Uh, game number two here. We'll, we'll know for sure who won when Adam goes first. <laughs> uh, and I, that was just honestly a terrible game for Adam. Yeah, you know, the, Ma, oh God, it was so, so crazy. Like, yeah. Moss, I mean, eight energies, turn three. Outside of a turn one Night Sphere, he could not have asked for a better game. All right, we're gonna see it. <laughs> turn one night spear. I know. After that, don't you believe that it's possible? The turn one night spear is possible. Maybe. <laughs> Still a little bit of dis disbeliever. I believe the Thunderfang was more Thunderfang strategy is more likely than turn one night spear. <laughs> oh yeah, probably. Uh, all right, let's see. It's gonna be like aided by Adam. It's gonna be like a sky arrow <laughs> bridge in play, and then it's gonna be like. <laughs> Save last start. <laughs> Three dark patches. Alright, so I wish good luck. And Adam goes first uh, with a shiny Rayquaza. This is actually a strong opener, and so is Junipering away three lightning. Yeah, that's. <laughs> um, <laughs> however, does he have. Yeah, he can get Ultra Ball and he can get one time on the field. Yeah. Not bad. This. Um, I, I do like this opening against Sableye. Mm -hmm. Just hitting it for 40 twice, taking yeah. that out immediately. Uh, it can really slow down the Dark Ride player. If you can knock out their save light turn two, they just might not be able to knight screw you for a However, while. that is minus four cards from your deck. That's true. Is it worth it? Uh, Adam says yes. And Adam would be correct with that one. Yeah, a lightning and a low ball, I'll take that. So, let's see. Oh, crushing Hammer. This could actually end up being big. Adam has discarded a lot of lightning already. Tails. But it stays. <laughs> uh, let's see, well, Bianca, I think. Yep. So not quite the explosive start this game. Oh, we might see another Crushing Hammer and then Junk Hunt for Crushing Hammer. I still, I don't know why about these two decks. I just like to see them flip coins. <laughs> That's all you like to do. <laughs> <laughs> it's just very dramatic. You just see the coin go into the air and you go, <gasps> and then it lands heads. <laughs> <laughs> oh, boy. Alright, uh, I don't think Moss got anything off that. Uh, he's taking a very long time. 
playing a random receiver. Uh, we'll see what he gets. And he's going through. Oh, Juniper. What is what is with this guy? <laughs> I, it's like every time it's like, well, I used up all four of my junipers. <laughs> I guess I had to draw something at that point. Yeah. However, he won't be able to use it yet because he did Bianca. Yeah, I think he's just using it to junk hunt. Yeah. Yeah, or just thin out his deck by a card so he draws something that's not a supporter next turn. Oh. Interesting. And he knows the Sableye is getting knocked out, so he's just going to save the energy. He doesn't care about getting mm -hmm. those two cards back. Those two cards don't attack. <laughs> yeah, they sure don't. And I think he just, you know, he accepts the fact that my poor Sableye is going down. Figuring out some, like, combo strategies here for his <laughs> next turn. Um, Let's see if he can do anything about this. So... We have Rayquaza getting in there, and oh, and all that planning was just kind of for nothing. I think that's uh, a card Moss is happy to see. You know, he didn't really do anything explosive on his turn. He mm -hmm. didn't. Uh, he didn't discard any dark energy. He, I mean, he's probably happy to see a fresh hand. Yeah, I mean, he's pro we're probably going to see maybe a uh, a Juniper with a dark and a dark patch to energy switch and the energy for the turn out of Moss. <laughs> <laughs> Wouldn't put it past him. Um, no. Okay, there's double, double electric. electric. Electric with four lightning in your discard pile already. Uh, that's pretty strong. Um, oh, does it? Grabs a dynamo. He might not have a target for dynamo. Yeah, I mean, yeah. There's no point in getting out the extra electrics if you have nothing to dynamo or onto. Yeah, he attaches again to prepare for a shred. Yep. And, and Sky Arrow, Juniper. The Juniper was a little bit of a downer, but acceptable. Yeah, and the Sky Arrow, he doesn't even need the second one. Yeah. All Overall, right. like, he just discarded three cards he didn't even want to see anyways. Mm -hmm. Yeah. So, great discards. Everything, I mean, this is a complete reversal of the first game. Uh, everything's going Adam's way this time around. So, are we going to see maybe a 25 percenter on, like, Crushing Hammers? <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> um, <laughs> yeah, maybe. Yeah. Do you think he's going to deck him out with Crushing Hammer? <laughs> Honestly, I don't think that can happen. I just want to go, oh, even more. <laughs> <laughs> this is what's going to happen. He's going he's gonna to remove all the energy from Adam's field, and the Keldeo is going to be active, and he can't do anything about that. <laughs> <laughs> or, I actually, I kind of want, I, just cause so we can see more games, I want to see this go to game three, and I want to see like the winning attack being like Secret Sword. <laughs> You just want anything that's not normal. Is that a bad thing? Not always. Yeah. <laughs> you just want to see, like, turn one Celestial Roar. Three energy. Turn two 180. Makes a much more interesting game. <laughs> <laughs> Alright, uh, Moss is going for a catcher on the electric and an N. Okay, so, um, yeah, he, he's close to a turn two Night Spear. Uh, did he play Dark Patch? I didn't catch it. Did he attach the energy for the turn? Um, not sure. We'll definitely find out in a second, won't we? Um, but yeah, you know, he's in a pretty good position. Mm -hmm. Even if he doesn't get the Night Spear off this turn, he's the fact that he's getting energies on the field, that's a big part. Yeah. Uh, he does have to be careful, though, because of the um, potential... Rayquaza hit out of nowhere. There's so many Tynamos on the field. He has an electric out. He has so many lightning energies in the discard. Anything could just happen. Yeah. Ooh, hey, double dark patch. What's up? You know, uh... A night spear, that's what's up. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> this is just, uh, this is the life of Matt Moss. We're living, we're living the Moss life. Well, I mean, we have... A guy who like flies around on dragons and sky arrow bridges and unicorns <laughs> and has koi fish. And then you got a guy who just got dark rise. <laughs> it lifts through the junk a lot. <laughs> With a very guy, nice watch. <laughs> two different lifestyles. <laughs> <laughs> One's from. <laughs> oh, wow. <laughs> <laughs> One hunts for junk all day. The other guy's riding high on dragons through the sky. <laughs> on a unicorn chariot. A unicorn. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> oh boy. Uh, Moss didn't take a prize there. Yeah. Um, we should let them know. 
Let's see. Um, I have a, an order to call the judges if anything weird happens. So we will <laughs> do that right now. Yeah. Uh, let me just put in this number here. Hopefully the game doesn't develop too poorly. Does um, it look like a 6 or an 8 to you? Uh, I think that's a 6. Okay. <laughs> Sorry about this. We'll get this uh, situated right away, but uh, Moss should be at 5. Yeah, I got a voicemail. Alright, uh, I'll be right back. Alright, I'll, I'll keep you guys entertained with my uh, invisible friends here. So, we have a Keldeo that drops down, and... Yeah. So, he, he opts not to Dragon Pulse. He knows his deck is a lot of good cards now. And it looks like Kyle just kind of came in and forced the law. <laughs> and here we go. So, back to a normal game state. Uh, nothing, you know, the one prize wasn't too impactful. Uh, or rather, it didn't, the lack of drawing, it didn't do anything <sighs> bad. Made it. Uh, so, luckily... We just go on as normal, you know, that's it. And there's 30 damage on this Rayquaza. That means it's going to be knocked out by a Night Spear. Mm -hmm. However, if Matt has a catcher, he may want to take out yeah. another electric. You'd always prefer that, yeah. Yeah. But, you know, a prize is a prize at the end of the day. Yeah, definitely. Uh, did Adam miss a fire energy last turn? Yes. Ouch. And he, op and he opted not to Dragon Pulse because his deck is so loaded at this point. I mean, you can only drag. There's no. You can only Dragon Pulse for like so long before you just start running bad. There's a catcher. Yep. Another electric going down. So, Moss might still. I mean, he can still win this game, even though Adam, by all means, um, he got everything perfectly set up. Just he actually didn't have an attacker to put his energy on. Yeah, Darkrai has been uh, for a long time the enemy of electric. <laughs> yeah. Um. Like, it's almost like bandits robbing a town over and over. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> Electric's like trying to come back. He's like, go away, Dark Rai. But no, Dark Rai's like, get rid of me then. <laughs> <laughs> Try and stop me. <laughs> Make me. <laughs> All right. All right. <laughs> and Moss is pointing that he is taking a prize this time. Uh, and uh, I love Moss's position at this point. Mm -hmm. Uh, he's gonna set up. He can knock out this regular Rayquaza, which is 90. Hit the electric for 30. He'll go down to three prizes. Yes. Then uh, he'll hit Rayquaza EX for 90. Knock out the electric. Go down to two prizes. And it's just one more night spear and he wins. However, we do see a big Dragon Blast coming out. I guess that throws around. But the there is an Ephiolite on this Dark Ride. Mm hmm. And. Is that scrap? Maybe he should have Dragon Pulse. Or a catcher works, actually. Yeah, that works too. Uh, but he does have a computer search if he wants to go for Tool Scrapper. Uh, hmm, that's a, I, think he would, I think he would go for the Tool Scrapper. That's, I think that's the more it takes an preferable. Play. Mm -hmm. oh, discards two more Lightning Yanks. Now, this isn't actually as big as it would seem because there's still only one electric in play. Yeah. He's not going to be able to follow up. If he can catch. <laughs> Get a third catcher. <laughs> <laughs> Knock out another electric. That would be game over. Yeah. I think. There would be no coming back. And is that a... Even... He just drew a catcher. <laughs> uh, even just hitting for 90 and hitting the electric. I guess. Or it might have been a Dark Claw. Oh, jeez. Sure. Uh, the Dark Claw is actually very big. Just, uh... Oh, it was oh. a catcher. <laughs> okay. That's, uh, that's pretty good. Now, good luck, Adam. Uh, I don't know what you do from here. So will you give me that bet again about getting a free meal? Mm, let me see his hand. <laughs> <laughs> you cheater! No looking, no looking! <laughs> What's the prize count here? Uh, uh, three to four? Yeah. Uh, I'm not giving you that bet again. you got to put something on the line this time. No. <laughs> Alright. I don't take bad bets. <laughs> but, uh, you know, that just kind of shows how like grim the situation is. Okay, where do you put 30 here for your loss? Um, um, I'm thinking of the regular Rayquaza. Yeah, I, I agree. Well, it's it doesn't. I, honestly, I don't think it matters too much. But uh, well, he can win in two night spears then. Okay, so you put it on the regular Rayquaza, and then 
You would still need a catcher. Okay. Oh, never mind. Changed his mind. Yeah, you would still need Pokemon catcher. Not really. If you just hit his Rayquaza EX twice. Yeah. You take your three prizes and you win. But, like, he can maybe Night Spear here, right? And then put... That would put uh, Rayquaza EX at 140... And then he can just put 30 on the Keldeo, or 30, and then if he has a catcher, then catcher up the Rayquaza wow. and just take three prizes. He's used three catchers. Yeah. Nice. He has play, he plays four. I know, but I, he just got into three. Uh-huh. Yeah. I'm sure there's a catcher in his future. <laughs> uh, he, he struggled the draw last game. That's true. His and deck is noticeably bigger this game, too. Oh, there's a Dynamo. Mm-hmm. So he draws the fourth catcher here. Um, he grabs the Tynamo, hits the Rayquaza for 30, and then the game pretty much is over. Let's be straight up. If he hits the fourth catcher here, <laughs> he's the champion. <laughs> <laughs> uh, I think Crushing Hammer would be big here, too. Oh, computer search. Wow. That's also big. Yeah, you know what that gets? Anything? Catcher number four. <laughs> <laughs> or anything. Uh, catcher number four is good, too. Yeah. And uh, that he falls just, under the anything category. He discards a random receiver. That means he has a supporter in his hand. <laughs> That's, yep. Yeah. Uh, I mean, hey, I mean, his deck is just built to be completely consistent. So, like, even though these turns seem ridiculous, they're going to happen more often with this deck than with a normal deck. Yeah, I mean, we're kind of blowing this out of proportion a little bit. But, uh, you know, I, I think that, like, really, at the end of the day, it, for this is for this dark ride deck it's actually just business as usual mm -hmm. um you know adam's the one who's like hey i had business as usual until you came in and wrecked my shop <laughs> <laughs> uh, see a dark patch oh uh, maybe the catcher's prize could be uh i actually i don't know this isn't a bad spot either yeah yeah he, he's still fine because like even he can still do 110 to the Rayquaza, put out 140 and if he goes to the bench, Adam loses. Yeah. Mm hmm So it's, it's fine. Plain and simple. Uh, Night Spear is just too good. Yeah, it, it, it was in the all top four of worlds. Uh, <laughs> yeah. It was seven like eight, seven out of eight, eight top eight. Yeah. All right, so uh, that Rayquaza X has 140 on it. That means 30 from Night Spear ends it. Um, <clears throat> if Adam doesn't evolve Tynamo, it's also over. Yep. Just so, Juniper. Juniper here, and let's just see how this works out. Uh, I guess. Here and that's. Do you, we oh, have the level ball. ball. Okay. If he has a, uh, a switch, he can actually retreat, die motor, switch, and then Dragon Burst for 120 and get the knockout. That would be pretty huge, actually. And then, well, if. Uh, we also need an energy. Mm hmm. And then they'll probably win in two turns, but if he doesn't have the energy. So Ultra Ball is getting rid of three catchers. He knows uh, you're out of Pokemon. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. There's no point in hiding this fact. <laughs> <laughs> Alright, so here we go. Dynamotor. Oh, so he doesn't have the switch. Nope. Uh oh. <laughs> Rush in, and then just passes. Uh, well, it's. Um... I like that play actually a lot. Um, that makes it so now Matt needs three Night Spears to win. Yes. However, there's still maybe he can go just go for Sableye here. Yeah, just junk on for two catchers. Yeah, I guess that works. <laughs> I mean, at this point, it's like, well, what do you? You can't stop me. Like, I'll still take three prizes. Mm hmm. Unless he drops a max potion. I actually, uh,. Yeah, I guess he just take three prizes, just knock out the regular Rayquaza. Yeah, yeah, you'd have to heal Rayquaza EX. Yeah. Or you can just set up a different Dark Cry. And that okay. works too. Um, um, Adam actually does have another catcher. Yeah, that's still fine. I mean, make him burn it, I guess. Yeah. But which, like, which one do you hit here? Do you take the two prizes? Or you definitely take the two prizes. Okay. Because if you don't, what happens is yeah, they can attach and Dynamotor 180 yeah. out of nowhere. That's true. This way, it's more of a, hey, I'm, I'm going to take two prizes, but it's going to be a, like a much more, uh, two prizes. Yeah. All right, so we got a Skylight for a switch. Uh, we'll see a Dynamotor as well. Plus, remember, he oh. most likely had two uh, a catcher prized. Thus. He the switch. He, he, uh... He didn't Dynamotor first, but I don't think Moss is going to... 
do that too. Okay. <laughs> All right. So, there we go. All right. So, uh, Dynamotor switch Dragon Burst for 120, and yeah. catcher catcher yeah, off the prize. prize. All yeah. right, Matt Moss is your Displays Illinois City Champion. Congratulations to Matt and Darkrai. Yeah, STS Champion, and now Displays Illinois City Champion. You know, we we're running a tradition here: three for three on championship wins for our Moss throughout. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> he's, he's a once he gets to the finals, he's a finisher. He closes the deal. Just gotta get him there. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, and uh, I gotta say, three days in the Chicago Marathon, we have three big name players taking home the gold. Mm -hmm. uh, first day is Jay Hornung. Yes. Second day, Jason Kozinski. Third day, Matt Moss. Oh, who's next? Who's next? Um, let's see. Is it you? Probably. <laughs> I mean, let's be honest. <laughs> No, I don't know. It, it's really anyone's game. There's so many people here. There's so many uh, great players. It just comes down to who makes the best choice of the day and who can just, you know, run well. Yeah. Like, you saw, you saw how well Matt ran in the finals. Like, he ran abysmal in the top eight. Yeah, I mean... But, you know, a little, a little luck on his side, a little unluckiness from his opponent. Ended up working out. And then in the finals, he just kind of, like... Blew up. <laughs> yeah, pretty much. Yeah. Uh, he played extremely well. So did Adam, but I mean, at the end of the day, Matt Moss, just straight dark ride, wins two days in a row. Uh, first day was a Blastoise Keldeo Sigilift deck, and now we have two dark ride decks in a row. It's pretty much the exact same list, too. Yeah. Jason and Moss both ran the same list. Um, where does the metagame go from here? Well, um, maybe it just stays the same and dark ride just keeps running over people. Or people adjust. You know, maybe we see more Terrakion based decks. Mm -hmm. um, maybe more Landorus, because Eels has been starting to make a little bit of more creep. It's true. Creep up, so maybe more Landorus play. And maybe we'll find this like weird, like, right now there's like three, four decks that are like good. You have like Terrakion based decks. You have um, so things like Ho Oh, Landorus, Tornadus, things like that. Yep. And then you have like Blastoise. So basically, there's a lot of decks. Yeah, I mean, like, now, now we just have one more to add. Yeah. So, you know, there's so many good decks, so many good players. Who knows? We'll see maybe next time. Yeah, well, congratulations to Matt. Uh, Adam, too. But, uh, of course, the win goes to Matt Moss. Mm -hmm. He played very well. Um, I mean, he drew everything he needed in that last game, and there he is, city champion. Yeah. Yeah, I mean, like, it was done great. Yeah. I guess uh, that's all we got here. Mm -hmm. Thanks for watching, guys. Anything you want to say before we head out? Um, yeah, you know, um, thanks for watching. You know, it's great to, like, do this stuff for you guys. And, you know, you watching us it just gives us a lot of motivation to keep showing you guys more content, stuff like that. So uh, thanks for watching. Yeah, uh, thanks everyone for tuning in. You know, we appreciate all your support. We'll be trying to stream more often. You know, we love bringing you these events, especially these ones with uh, such exciting games with high caliber players. So, mm -hmm. uh, we've been going all day. Hope you guys have a great Sunday night and have a great New Year's if we don't reach you until then. Um, but again, I've been Kyle Sukovich. This is Michael Pramwat. Take care, everyone, and we will see you next time. See ya.